guys, Peter Mberia here. Now, today I'm presenting to you a couple of gems that you have seen in my previous videos. Here we have um, W123, early 1970s W123, that has an M110 six cylinder 2.8 liter engine that has already been converted to EFI and I've been using it on a daily basis and this is fully functional. And here we have another W123, still early 1970s uh, Mercedes-Benz, that has a four-cylinder M115 two-liter engine that has recently, actually a few days ago, has been converted to EFI. You can see the common plugs. The harness is yet to be covered, so it's still very fresh. And it drove here from the customer's uh, residence to my workshop. And this is a work in progress, but it runs. On this other side, we have an FJ Cruiser, 1968, older than them. And here we have a 4.2 liter engine, a uh, six cylinder. You can come closer and you will see a couple of things that have been done. The, the head cover has been polished, shiny, properly, not, not chromy, but this is just polishing. On this other side, you can see the fuel injectors are ready. So I'm left to fix the throttle body and then we can make the engine run. And finally, on the far right, well, to my right, we have a Mercedes-Benz, the oldest of them all, a 19, probably a 1965 Mercedes-Benz, M111, or W111, sorry, W111, and can come on this other side. In very mint condition, I like the black strikes out very well. And the reason as to why this gem is here, it's because of the engine issues. Look at the engine bay, very clean. But now we have these dual Solex carburetors that recently have been problematic to the owner. And what this vehicle is here to be done on is uh, be converted from the carburetor setup, remove all these ignition coils, I mean ignition lead wires, and then replace it with the Voderant EFI system. So let me start it for you. At least you see how it runs now. Should I say a before and after? So this is a before video. You can already see uh, it had trouble starting and even it's shaking a lot because uh, the balancing of uh, the fueling on these fuel carburetors is already problematic. A lot has been done on it but by the time it got here uh, the owner has reached you know, the very end. The engine is very good but I need to develop a system for it and that's why it's here. Stay tuned guys as we Venture to this world of carbon conversions. Thank you, guys. <laughs> 